South Point. It's Clay Cooper here. Uh, as your director of outreach, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, ways to be a blessing to your community during the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Um, looking at Genesis 12, you know, the Lord tells Abraham, you were blessed and you were blessed to be a blessing. And guys, we have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms through Christ. And he has asked us to be a blessing to our community. Uh, the question is, how do we do that when we've been asked to distance ourselves from people? And there are a few ways. I'm going to give you a couple of examples that we can do that. But the first thing to remember is that we really should honor the government by not getting together with large groups of people as much as possible. Um, one way to love our neighbors, especially those who are high risk, is to avoid the spreading of the virus. Um, it may not be a big deal to all of us, but it might be a big deal to some. And so we, we would be wise to do that. Um, and the other thing I would tell you is right off the bat, before I even give you an example, is pray. Ask the Lord, who are you asking me to intentionally bless in word, gift, or deed during this time? Because he might ask me to do something, but he might ask you to do something different. And it's important that you listen to the Lord's voice in this. Um, so here are a couple examples. One is a note that a friend of ours shared, and I'm going to share it with you. They wrote a note to their neighbor saying, Dear neighbor, we know that some of our neighbors are high risk and unable to get to the store at this time. If you or someone you know needs help getting groceries or general assistance, please let us know. We're happy to make a grocery run, run errands, or assist you in any way. We are glad to be your neighbor. Blessings. And then they wrote their name. This is a great way to bless those who uh, need some help during this time. Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all. Again, the Lord may ask you to do something different, but it is a very easy way to bless those who need help. Another thing you could do is uh, make a care package. You know, put water, dry goods, um, any utilities they think you think that they might need. Uh, I know thermometers, for one, are, are out of store, so if you have an extra, maybe that's something you throw in. Um, people are hoarding, and we should be sharing and not hoarding. And so that would be a great way to help as well. But again, if you do that, put a note in there, because, you know, I'd be suspicious with a random package on my doorstep as well. But with a little note saying, hey... I'm your neighbor across the street, maybe we've met, maybe we haven't, but we just want to help you guys out in any way we can. So uh, let us know. Uh, I'd also encourage you to go on a prayer walk this week, or next week, or the next month. Walk through your neighborhood. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for opportunities to be a witness to your neighbors, or to bless them with something. Pray for relationships to be built with your neighbors. If you see them, say hi. Uh, if you notice a, a couple that, maybe it's an elderly couple that might need help in the future, but maybe right now they're okay, take note of that. Um, but pray. Pray for people to come into your life, in your neighborhood, so that you can bless them and hopefully share the gospel with them and bless them with the words of Jesus at some point. Um, the last thing I want to re-encourage you to is listen to the Lord's voice. Pray. Lord, who are you asking me to bless during this time? Is there a way I can help someone in any way in this neighborhood that you've put me in? Because you have put me here. And if some of you are going to work, pray the same prayer for those at work. Maybe you know someone who needs help. Maybe God has put you in their life to help them. And so I'd ask you to do that as well. Guys, stay safe. Um, be wise. Um, but be aware of opportunities the Lord has asked you to be a part of. Because that's how he made us. He made us to be lights in the darkness. Guys, take care.